This is 43 years of experience of flood resilience. But do I want the bother as I'm getting older? I only put it on as a last resort, otherwise I can't get out of the house. To get out of the house, once the floodgate's on, I have to have a neighbour to put it on for me. And then to get out, I have to use a stool and a ladder to climb over the front door gate to run round to get this off in order to get in again. Last time, though we weren't here, we could see the tide marks and it was a metre. But it was after the second flood in 2005 that we decided to do more drastic uh, measures. We have um, covered the whole of the ground floor with tiling. In the past, we had floorboards and all the floorboards came up, the walls came off to a height of about shoulder height and they have waterproofed all the walls and then replastered over the top. I've just got gaps where I could have, you know, um, low cupboards. It's not worth it. So I've just put them up in the hope that the flood doesn't rise. This is the main downstairs sitting room. I've lost two acoustic pianos in the flood. To see my pianos go into the crunch, but now I've got an electric piano, which is lighter. So my plan is to, if it floods, I'm just going to get all the water out, clean up, live upstairs. After the 2015 flood, I've got a fully equipped kitchen upstairs. There are two windows in every room except the kitchen, so I can keep an eye on the weather all right. I can check the le river levels on my iPad, and I do that quite often at the moment, four or five times a day. I think I've done more or less all I can here. I love this home. I never want to lose. I might have to as I get older. I might have had to anyway, but I would like to be able to stay here for as long as I can. <laughs>